welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. How are you all doing? I'm one minute in not realizing that the time went by. I was actually just reading some of you guys' comments. Now, five reasons why you should be using facial oils on the skin. That's our topic today. And I'm sure you guys are ready, waiting to see why we need to use these oils. I'm a little... <clears throat> so, how, are, how is your weekend going? My weekend is going great so far. I just finished having breakfast. I actually was rushing to have my breakfast. I was having some Starbucks. I haven't had it for a while, so I went out to get it. And guess what? Destiny... Oh. That's for my Jamaicans. People know what I'm talking about. Guys, we are going to be talking about facial oils. And I have a couple of oils here that I want to talk a little bit about. And then I'm going to tell you the reason why we all should have some form of a facial oil in our collection. Definitely, definitely different oils for different skin types. Okay? But everyone have an oil out there for them now of late oils has been like everywhere everywhere you go you go to the beauty store you go to sephora and all these wonderful makeup and beauty supply counters you're gonna find facial oil and guess what all of this is worth the hype there's a real big hype around facial oil these days and the reason for that is Facial oil is great for the skin. Most of the products that you buy out there to use on your skin, whether it is your facial serum, whether it is your facial moisturizer, your facial oil, eye cream, you name it, is going to contain some form of an oil in it. And the reason for that is because oils are loaded with a lot of antioxidants and minerals and vitamins that is great for the skin. Now, do not all oil is great for all skin type so different oils go for different skin type but i'm going to break it down for you today and tell you exactly what kind of oil you need for your skin type and also the reason why you need to use facial oil welcome to sunday chit chat if this is a first time watching a warm welcome to you on sunday chit chat we just talk about products i take your questions we you know interact with each other and basically just share information that we know it's an half an hour show and you are free to comment keep it clean on this chat if you're watching and you you see any form of a comment that is not appropriate that the system didn't catch totally ignore it we're not giving anybody any hair time that don't deserve to be on the show. However, all are welcome and all are welcome to ask questions and put their two cents in. All right, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, let's so so. Hi, Chichi, and I, everyone. Hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Thanks for your tips there. Love it and love it right back. Thank you for watching. We have Karen. Hi, Karen. How are you? Laverne Simit. Peace and love. Um, and blessing beautiful people same to you. I Shanique Simit. I haven't seen you for a while. Happy, happy Sunday to you. Helene, got your messages. <clears throat> All right, Betty Rhodes, how to get out, how to get out to flatten my stomach in a week. Yes, I mean, we're gonna be talking about oils today, but you can actually um depending on the size of your stomach, let's keep it real. All right, depending on the size of the stomach, it's not gonna be like a pancake within a week. However, there are things that you can do to shrink that stomach down really, really fast, and that is to flush the system out. So you're gonna find something and i have a lot of wonderful stuff on this channel you could go and browse weight loss um drinks and good stuff and just use a flush flush the system out eat clean for a week drink a lot of water and before you know it at the end of the week you should see some form of a flattening to the stomach cut out certain things like excess carbs and sweets and sugar and even salt okay because salt tend to build the water in your system so even salt you cut on all of that and a little bit you know enough not overdo it and you should 
um, see some flattening in your stomach within a week. Easier said than done, all right? But if you follow all of those little tips I just gave you, you definitely will have a flatter stomach at the end of the week. All right, guys. So, child of God, good evening. Carl, um, Carl, the top tigress in baking soda, great for skin. All right, there's a lot of controversy about baking soda. Guys, I know I'm not talking about the oils at the end, but I just want to just, you know, answer a few questions on the chat before we talk about the oil. There's a lot of controversy about baking soda. However, I personally use baking soda on my skin and I love it. However, I would suggest that you spot test the baking soda. Baking soda on the skin is great for exfoliating the skin. There's no joke about it. It's definitely going to have to get rid of all the dead skin cells on the skin. If you have sensitive skin, however, be mindful of what you mix it with. And that is where most people get a reaction. I like to mix it with oil, such as coconut oil, olive oil, you name it. If you have very, very sensitive skin, you could actually get some avocado and tip a little baking soda in it and use it to exfoliate your skin. But whatever you do, spot test. But it's not going to damage your skin. I'm yet to see someone who said baking soda damages your skin unless they overdo something. But if you use it, moderately and use it the way I am sharing by mixing it with the oil and just exfoliate the skin for a minute or so you are on your way to beautiful skin and I don't see any form of an arm in it all right oils now one reason why you should be using some form of a facial oil on the skin is because Facial oil, most facial oils contains collagen boosting property. Most facial oils contain vitamin E and vitamin E is great for the skin. What vitamin E does to the skin is that it helps to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines. Now, how do we get rid of wrinkles and fine lines on the skin? You get rid of wrinkles and fine lines on the skin by boosting the collagen production in the skin. Now, why did we have the wrinkles in the first place. We have the wrinkles in the first place because as we age, the skin loses its elasticity. Also, the collagen production slow down. And in order for it to in order for us to get rid of the wrinkles at the fine line without actually going to do, you know, a lift to the skin, we have to apply things to the skin that is going to boost the collagen production. So boosting the collagen production, the main ingredient is vitamin E. And vitamin E you're going to find in most of your store-bought cosmetic, okay? So personally for me, I think sometimes there's not enough vitamin E in these things. So I like to go out and buy my own 100% natural, pure vitamin E oil. Can you use natural vitamin E oil on the skin directly? Of course you can, all right? But just a little goes a long way. However, you can get your vitamin E oil and you can add a carrier oil to that. Carrier oil mean that an oil that is gonna help to dilute the strength of the vitamin E oil. And a good carrier oil is like almond oil, olive oil, um, you know, coconut oil, all those kind of one, canola oil, all those oils are good carrier oil. And you could do like three drops of vitamin E oil to like a tablespoon of your carrier oil, dilute it and it absorb in the skin much faster. But definitely guys, do add some form of a oil to your skin. Now, another reason why you need oils in the skin is that the oil, when you use oil on your skin, it actually locks the moisture in the skin. All right, for those of you who have very, very dry skin, you need to get some form of a facial oil in your beauty care. Now, if you're using regular facial creams and serums and all these good stuff, you still need that extra facial oil because the extra facial oil is like the icing on the cake that is going to lock everything in the skin. And when the moisture is sealed in the skin, your skin is not going to be dry. And that is how we get supple skin. Normally I say the skin is so soft and supple because it's totally hydrated. And in order for the skin to be hydrated, you use that oil to seal the moisture in because sometimes it depends on the environment that you're in 
it's going to dry the skin. Like for me in the winter time, my skin could dry out like easily because the eating system in the house tend to dry the skin out. And I normally have to have like a glass of water, some form of an open container near the eat source so that that send out the steam and that will also still help my skin to stay fresh and supple looking. So regardless of what you use on the skin, you can still use a little bit of oil on top of it. And oil goes on the skin last if you're using a lineup of things on the skin. So you're going to use the facial toner, the facial serum, the facial moisturizer. And on top of that, you put the oil. For me, I like to tip the oil in my facial moisturizer. And most time, I just like to use just the oil on my skin after the facial toner. So definitely try to get some form of oil in the skin. Now, guys, um, most oils is lightweight. Most of the oils that you have out there for your skin is lightweight. We do have a little oil like olive oil and the coconut oil, which are a little heavier, but at the same time, it is still good for the skin. And most of it is still lighter than most of the facial cream that you're going to get out there. Serum on the oil is very, very light. Okay. Now, guys, let me take a question because I've been getting a lot of feedback that I'm not answering question on the chat. Um, Sherry um, Tongan, I have large pores, please. What can I use? You can use some Fuller's Earth. Make sure to clean your skin. And steaming is good for you if you have a lot, a lot of large pores. In steaming, you could, you know, get some hot water, put your face over. If not, just get a warm wash rag, place it over your face after you cleanse your face, that is. Leave it on for about three minutes and there you will have the heat from the steam open that pores and clean it out and when you have large pores uh, um exfoliating is great for your skin so you're going to exfoliate that skin and baking soda somebody asks about baking soda baking soda is good brown sugar is good any um almond almond powder um, or almond, um, ground almond is good for the skin. So you use that, you exfoliate the skin, you rinse, you pat dry, and then you use a facial mask with any form of a clay, like full dessert. That's going to help to tighten back up that pores. This week, I'm going to be bringing out some pore tightening, tightening, in group, you know, mask and stuff like that. And papaya also is good for large pores. Once you cleanse and you use a good papaya mask, you should be on your way to, you know, having beautiful skin. Just follow those steps that I just mentioned right now. Also, we have um, Lucy. Lucy, you're on my chat for so long and you still don't know where to get Fuller's Earth. You could go and check out, you know, Amazon, but I normally list on the each video once i use a fullest earth and normally list the link to where you could buy it and guys you need to learn how to use the description box under every video right below the video you're gonna see a little arrow if you click on that arrow it's gonna just open up and you're going to see a wide variety of things. You're going to see my Snapchat. You're going to see the products I use on my skin, the links. You're going to see links to other videos and everything is right below the video, but you got to click on the little arrow. So once you watch a video and you're like, oh, what is that she's using? 99% of the time, the link is going to be below the video. Okay. So get, you know, familiar with using the link and you know going to search for what you want and i normally put a different price range of things when i list a product so each person depending on your pocket you'll know exactly what you can afford or what you cannot afford katie simit hello beautiful lady from Phoenix City, Arizona. And we also have um, Nazazi. I think I got this right. N-G-O-Z-I. Anan, uh, Ananaba. Ananaba. And um, happy Sunday. And then we also have um, Rita. Hi, Rita. I haven't said hi to you for a while. How are you doing? I hope you are getting those facials done. All right. All right, guys. So we're back to talking about oils that we need on the skin. Now, oils help us to maintain a healthy looking skin. Oils help us to have glowing skin. And I'm going to talk a little about the different um, skin type and the different kind, kinds. I don't know. What am I saying today? 
I'm going to talk about, somebody said talk too fast, but whenever I look and I see the time, I'm like, oh, anyway, I'm going to talk about oils, the different kind of oils for different skin type. All right. So for dry skin, if you have dry skin, get yourself facial oils that are heavier. Now, guys, when I'm talking about facial oils, right, let's keep this, you know, because I have a wide variety of people on the chart. Facial oil not necessarily mean that you have to go and get the uh, Oba, the rose hip. All of those are wonderful oils, okay? If you could get those oils to use on the skin, why not? I use them and a lot of my subscribers use them, but don't stress yourself if you are, you know, on a budget and you cannot run out and get these oils that I'm talking about. Remember, go in your kitchen, look, you're going to find most people use olive oil. Some people use coconut oil. You also have canola oil, okay? You also have like corn oil. And what else does people use to cook? What are the oil that is readily available um you know whatever all you have once it's good to eat it's good to go on your face and as i said 90 percent of these oils have vitamin e and all of that's wonderful antioxidant so if i'm talking about rosehip quailing marula jojoba jojoba cacao and all of that's fancy oils and you cannot get it guys don't stress yourself just use what you have in the kitchen. You can mix two oils together. You can mix some olive oil with a little coconut oil, and that's your facial oil, okay? So just bear with me. I just need to make that clear because, you know, I'm not, I don't want to just keep it for, you know, those who could afford. I also want to make sure those who cannot afford understand that they could mix and match things also. All right, so for dry skin, whenever you you have dry skin, you are losing the moisture from your skin and you need a, you to use an oil that is going to lock that moisture in the skin. Now for dry skin, you are very, you know, very wide variety of oils because you can use any kind of oil. You could use like, you know, light oil. You could use heavy oil. You could just, you know, a wide variety because your skin need to drink that up. However, I would suggest that you use the heavier oils on your skin. So you can use olive oil on your skin. If you are getting on in age, rose hip oil is good. Carrot seed oil is great for your skin because it's dry and you need a little heavier oil. Now guys, for dry skin, I'm gonna give you a quick and easy recipe. If you're using olive oil on your skin, use a little vitamin E oil in that olive oil once you could you know, afford it and you just mix that together and that's a great facial oil for dry skin. Now for this dry skin that is aging, you have your olive oil as a base with a little vitamin E oil in it. And guess what? Here comes the treatment oil like the rosehip oil. You're going to use a little rosehip oil for the vitamin A because you're boosting that collagen production vitamin a also from the carrot oil and you're going to add that into that um base with the heavy base which is the olive oil now for those of you who don't have olive oil and you have coconut oil you have a, no problem using coconut oil on your skin because your skin is very dry it's really good to use some coconut oil and if you use it the way I'm telling you, with exfoliating your skin, it's not going to clog the pores. So you're going to take your wonderful coconut oil. And if you are in your 20s and all of that, you use the coconut oil with a little vitamin E oil on your skin. Now, if you're getting on older and you're looking to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines, that same coconut oil with some vitamin E oil, with some rosehip oil, with some cacao oil, with some quailing. Thank you for introducing me to this quailing whoever you are you know yourself and you're gonna mix all that goodness together now you don't have to run out and get all these oils i'm mentioning just one oil one oil with vitamin a for the aging skin is gonna help your skin so you make it for yourself now guys if you can afford to go and buy a facial oil, there's a lot of wonderful ones on the market, but they're going to contain the same ingredient that I'm giving you. So, you know, you know, you where you pack it and see what you can do. And I also have some great 
wonderful blend combination of oils and facial serum on this channel that you can try so guys that's for dry skin for dry skin just follow the rules and know that the heavier oils go for your skin and if your skin is dry and you're younger you add a little vitamin e oil to the base oil which is like the coconut and the olive oil and if you're getting on you add a little carrot seed oil you have a, add a little oba, a little rose hip, you know one or two oils and that's going to give you the facial oil facial oil you're going to use it on top of your serum or on top of your moisturizer for normal skin you also is in a good position because you could play with stuff okay however for normal skin you're going to go from light to heavier oil depending on the season if you're living somewhere where it gets cold you know you're going to use the heavier oils in the winter time and in the summertime you're going to go for your lighter oil and i like to tell people a lot a lot about light oils in the summertime like the grapeseed oil it's like one of my favorite okay and now even though it's the warmer month still tip a little of that vitamin e vitamin e oil guys i'm gonna keep it real everyone that is watching the chat should try to get themselves a bottle of vitamin e oil whether it is a bottle of vitamin e oil or a capsule you're gonna get the vitamin e or the capsule in the oil or in the capsule form in your collection can't afford any of those the the um a oil that is loaded with vitamin e olive oil is loaded with vitamin e grapeseed oil is loaded with vitamin e so you can't afford two by one one that contain vitamin e as the grapeseed and as the olive oil so you're on your way to still getting almond oil also contain vitamin e so if you have almond oil and i make a recipe that calls for vitamin e just to put another almond oil in there you are good to go so just blend 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 and by now if you are a regular follower you should know how to blend your oils together to create very strong and very effective facial oil to the skin now guys i need to touch on acne prone skin because you know there's a lot of people watching with acne prone skin if you have acne prone skin you're going to treat your skin just the way i just mentioned for the people with large pores on the skin you're going to make sure to wash your skin always keep it clean steam that face if you can to clean those pores out because it's the clogged pores and dirt that is creating all this bacteria in your skin that is causing your skin to have acne now for you guys you're gonna mix your facial oil with some tea tree oil or some lavender oil or both so if you have acne prone screen skin it means that you are on the oily side most people with acne have oily skin so you're going to follow that oily skin routine by cleansing your face and using a lot of vitamin c on the face right a lot of vitamin c for that acne prone skin because it's going to help to cut the grease because you're getting rid of all that grease from your face because you already have greasy face now i have acne prone skin um chichi why are you telling us to use oil we already have oily skin no 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 what we're gonna put in these oils is gonna kill all that bacteria on the skin and that is what the tea tree oil is gonna do to the skin because the tea tree oil of antibacterial anti-inflammatory properties that's gonna have to dry that acne skin up so get yourself your olive oil you have acne skin use the olive oil but tip some tea tree oil in it and use that as your facial oil you can actually use that on your skin directly just before you go to bed that tea tree oil is going to do wonder for your for your acne prone skin and i'm going to give you another little hint not smelling good not great but if you could get yourself and some garlic oil this is acne prone skin i'm talking about and you mix that just one drop and a little tea tree oil in your olive oil or you're going to say coconut oil is too heavy but once you add the oils that contain the antibacterial anti and the anti-inflammatory properties it's gonna work for the acne prone skin so it's not gonna clog the pork or those oils are gonna take over and just clean and suck all of that bacteria from your skin and that is for acne prone skin so 
let me go back and tell. So definitely, guys, vitamin E oil, everyone should try to have a vitamin E oil in their collection. Now, if you're over 40, I'm saying over 40, but honestly, I think you need to use any form of anti-aging facial oil from, you know, day one. Somebody sent me something this week and they were saying, take a look at my skin. My mom taught me how to take care of my skin from I was a, um, at a young age and look at it now, I'm reaping the benefits. So you start from a young age. However, for those of you already gone, you're just getting into taking care of your skin, you need to do use some anti-aging products, anti-aging facial oil on your skin. And that is why on this channel, we talk so much about rosehip oil. We talk so much about over oil. We talk so much about cacao oil. And we have a lot of wonderful oils. I'm talking a lot about oils on this channel because it's out there, guys. It's everywhere and everyone is talking about facial oil. And you guys should have already been way ahead because I have been talking so much about facial oils. And now that everyone is talking about facial oils, you guys should be like, ah, we've been doing that all along. But browse around and you'll notice that facial oil is one of the biggest deal out there right now. I'm just teaching you on this channel how to blend all these wonderful oils together on a budget or even if you can afford to buy, you know, all the wonderful mix that I do mention. All right, let's take some comments. Um, I never hear you talk about turmeric anymore. Oh, yes, I I haven't been. And the funny thing today, I went um, grocery shopping and I saw the fresh turmeric and I was like, you know what? I should get some fresh turmeric. And I was like, ah, not for this week lineup. But yes, I still do use turmeric. And I just made, uh, what was that I made? A uh, cream, and um, uh, dark circle cream. You guys need to watch that video. And I did use turmeric powder in it. So Carl, you probably missed that video. I use a little bit of turmeric powder to help uh, to get rid of the dark circles and I mix that with some um, beeswax some shea butter and I add some wonderful oils in it that is great for you know the area of the eye the dark circle and the puffy eye and I blend all of that together and I create this wonderful cream for the oil the video is listed I think the video was posted two days ago or so so you guys should go and take a look at it especially if you have that dark circle so I still do use the turmeric but the fact that you mentioned and today I was thinking about getting the fresh turmeric I'm definitely gonna make something this week okay all right Ellie facial oil are a plastic surgeon worst nightmare <laughs> Uh, you know I'm not even going to elaborate on this, that early next thing. They just like put some marking on my video like, no, you can't do that to you, to us. All right. But that is true. That is really, really true. And guys, I want to mention, I'm talking so much about facial oil, but this is very important. Whenever you're using your facial oil, don't just put it on the skin like that. Always try to massage it into the skin. And while you're massaging it into the skin, just do the little massage and the little stuff I show you online. You rub your facial oil and you lift your skin and you hold it and you do those wonderful things. Make applying both facial oil, serum and lotion to your face. Make it a, you know, a, 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 a routine where you just lift your skin whenever you are doing it. And that is definitely gonna help the oil to penetrate deeper into the skin hi auntie yvette how are you i'll call you soon all right penetrate deep into the skin and have your skin just plump and radiant and fresh looking okay so um oops for those of you who don't who didn't watch my show in the week someone came on on the show one of my faithful subscriber and they told me about this um this qualine oil this i noticed guys this week i researched this oil and i was really amazed that that one went right over my head because all the beauty magazine all the like in 
Sephora and everywhere, they're talking about this oil. And I didn't know anything about this oil until one of my subscribers mentioned that this is what they use. So I have been using this oil this week and it is really, really good. So I'm going to be talking more about this oil. And there is another oil that is really big out there. And you guys probably knew about it and have been keeping all these secret. And this is the Marula oil. It's another wonderful anti-aging facial oil. Guy, you don't have to go out and get everything everything I mentioned one is good or two is good okay but for me the I, you know I do the show and I want to bring different things to you guys so I'm going to be able to bring you a wide variety of things now you could get one you could try you know but don't stress that oh another oil oh we can't do no 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 just get one and try it and when it finished you get another one but since I'm dealing with so many people it's okay for me personally to you know mention and tell you guys about the different kinds that is out there so the morella oil and the quailing oil is the two oils that i am using this week okay and um another one i have i order it's not here so i'm not going to talk about it but definitely thank you so we are going to be talking more about these and then i'm going to be trying out different blend this the the quailing oil i actually use this with a little bit of a almond oil this week so i'm testing to see how you know how well it's working on my skin and the morello oil i'm actually using just a little bit of this directly do i use both at the same time no i use one in the morning and one in the evening so this is what i've been using this week on my skin as oil because oils is everywhere guys okay so <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to have a giveaway guys soon. So don't worry. I'm going to have a giveaway where I'm going to be giving away some of these things. And I hope that the people that actually, you know, get it really, you know, um, are the ones that don't have access to it. But let me check the time guy. Oh, five o'clock, wherever you are. Okay, guys, last week, a lot of people missed the show because the time change. I'm in New York and we went, we spring forward. We went one hour ahead. So a lot of people was late for the show. So I think I will have to start to advertise like <laughs> next year, like, okay, the time is going to change. So those of you who missed the show, I'm sorry about that. It's not my fault. It's not that I, I'm, I'm coming on at a different time, but it's the fact that we spring ahead okay all right so guys i laid out to you why you need to have some form of oil in your collection some form of a facial oil and i also you know let you know how to apply it to the skin i also give you a different option whether you have dry skin oily skin or or no i didn't think i talk about oily skin for oily skin guys it's light 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 and i also realized i discovered that the quailing oil i just spoke about is great for oily skin and the morello oil i also learned that is great for oily skin but I'm still going to tell you that you use the grapeseed oil, a little almond oil. Those are lighter oils that is good for your oily skin. Okay, so I think I didn't talk about it. I talk about normal and dry, but I didn't mention oily. So for dry is heavy oil. For normal skin, you play around with whether light oil or heavy oil. You just do it by the season. And for oily skin, you definitely need light facial oils. Okay, guys, let me take some questions. I know my time is up. And I so love talking about these oils that is not funny. Somebody mentioned something and it just went by box something, another oil, buckhorn. Um, let me see. Ooh. When I'm done with the chat, guys, um, buckhorn oils to Chichi. All right, that one I have to write down, Rita. When I'm done, I normally go through all the comments, guys, because I don't see everything. So if you want to talk something, put it there. I'm going to be able to read it when the show is Finish B U C K T H O R N. So Bacarn oil is one that I need to look up this week. We also have um what is great for crack eel? Vaseline, shea butter, coconut oil. And scrub that foot with some sugar or some salt soak it in some vinegar water and then you apply those oils and try to do that as often as you can and you're on your way to 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 smooth feet all right and i have some videos on my channel um in which you could get rid of that um crack eels christine faster hello is palmer skin therapy oil good for the face 
And um, is that the oil for body or face? I'm not sure because that is actually a blend of oil. So I got to look. I'm not sure which oil that is. Um, I know pomas do cocoa butter and stuff. I don't know this particular oil. But the word, the fact that it said therapy in it, it could be essential oil, okay? All right, so you got to read the ingredient. And I'll look it up when I'm done and see what it is about. All right, um... Ellen, facial, uh, okay, I'd read that before. Um, salute, I cannot read that Spanish right. Can you recommend an oil for dark marks on the face for from acne I have oily skin? Yes, and that is why I just mentioned for the acne skin, maybe you came on late, the tea tree oil is good, the lavender oil is good. Now you can oil, actually mix those with a carrier oil like the almond oil. Also the grapeseed oil is good for the acne skin with a little tea tree oil and a little of the lavender oil, okay? All right, and let me see. Um, Annette, I was um, monitoring the time and noticed it came after the show came up. Okay, all right, I see, see, that's something about the time change. Belinda, what oils are good for hydration? All the heavy oils are great for hydration to hydrate the skin. The heavier oil, the almond oil, the, um, the coconut oil, the olive oil, those are heavier oils and you could add the stuff that I mentioned, like add vitamin E oil to it, add some ova oil to it, add some rosy oil to that, and that is going to help the skin to stay hydrated. Always use a facial toner before, okay? All right. And then we also have, please recommend um, um, permanent cure for eyes. Listen, I have a wonderful um, recipe on this channel. A lot of people wrote me about that recipe that they have gotten great results for it. It is actually for eczema, but I'm sure I use ingredient in that recipe that is great for eyes. So if you're itching all over and all that, so when you're done, you could type in um, Chichi Beauty eczema and the recipe is going to come up. You could actually give that a try. Gary, what's the best oil for a deep um, getaway from me? Carl, um um mom for stretch marks and for stretch marks i have some wonderful remedy there for stretch marks for stretch marks it's a whole boil game because i'm going to tell you to add other things to oils to the stretch mark but definitely get yourself some cocoa butter and have yourself some vitamin e oil in the cocoa butter you can also choose to have some um vitamin a a little bit of a rose hip oil in the cocoa butter and use that on your stretch mark. Do you use any anti-aging cream before or after you put the oils? You're going to put the cream on before. The oil is the sealer, okay? So the oil is going to go on top of everything because it will be able to penetrate whatever it is you're using on the skin. So after you wash your face, you apply your facial toner. If you're using that, if you're using serum, you apply the serum. If you're using a facial moisturizer or a facial cream, you use it. And then the last thing on top of everything is the facial oil. And you just apply that on the top. If you're only using facial oil, then just go ahead and put it directly on the skin or above the facial toner. Errol Brooks, some who is oily and have dry skin? Oh, is it possible? Yes, it's possible. That means you have combination skin. And I, I'm, I hate to tell you that if you have combination skin, most of the time you have to buy two stuff, two ingredients. However, if you go with the with with the middle oil, not too heavy and not too light, and a wonderful oil is like the almond oil, that is good for the skin. If not, you have to use two, and you got to spot treat like you use let's say most time is the t-zone that always have the greasiness and the rest is around the outer areas always dry so combination skin you might have to use to or you find a middle ground and if i'm i'm going to do some you know putting together a few oils and then i'm going to come back and i'm going to tell you some middle grounds oil i don't want to just throw things out there and i don't have the notes for that um right now but try to not too light not too heavy all right um error okay Debbie, what can help get rid of dark circle under the eyes? And I just mentioned the, the cream I just made. And last week, Carl, when you're done, just go on the channel page and watch the video I post. Guys, I post a video this week using the parsley again for the dark under eye circles. You need to give that a try. If you can get your hands on parsley, you have dark under eye circle, eye bags, extreme eye bags. 
It's an awesome, 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 no joke, awesome remedy, guy. Watch the video when you are done and try to make that and use it if you have dark circles. When you're finished treating the eyes, then you use the eye cream that I made for the nighttime and come back and comment because it's really amazing. All right. Um, then we are uh, Michelle. Um, um, okay, people talking about other things. Um, K K, K A V. Y A the cooling and smoothing parsley remedy. Yes, 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 yes. That's the one I'm talking about. It is really, really good. And if anybody is on the chat that to try that, let me know because oh my goodness, I it's like I can't get enough of that. And I use it on my skin all the time. And each time I use it and see the result, I'm like like blown away. Like it's the first time I'm using it. It is a no joke. So you definitely should give it a try. All right, how to reduce my skin pores which oil okay i did answer that question earlier okay guys i give you guys 40 minutes today my time is up i wish i could talk more but i gotta think about people who is gonna watch the show after that is not on the chat guys have yourself a wonderful week if there's only one oil that you can afford to buy for your skin buy the vitamin e oil if you are like getting on in age and there's only one you could buy for your skin i would suggest you buy the rose if oil because that can be mixed with regular oil that already contain vitamin e oil okay so if you have regular oils and you want an anti-aging oil you can go and buy just one whether it is the quailing the morella the cacay or the rose hip oil and you can use it in everything like a little goes a long way all right guys my time is up i love you guys so much i love doing my sunday chit chat because that is the time i get to interact with you guys this week i'm bringing out some nice wonderful facial stuff mask and using all this goodness and i'm gonna make something with turmeric okay and treat yourself take care of you wash your face apply these good stuff and before you know it you're gonna look younger fresher you're gonna feel good about yourself because guess what if you don't do this for you no one else is gonna do it for you so love yourself smile with somebody and try to be happy try to not stress so much thank you all for watching and i'll see you next week 4 30 remember the time change 4 30 eastern standard time for another in our series sunday chit chat with chitty beauty i'm also on guys every friday at 12 30 um, p.m eastern standard time for a new series which is let's talk skincare with chitty beauty so that go more in details about store-bought products like these wonderful oils we're talking about if you want to learn more about about this stuff then watch the friday show which is at 12 30 p.m eastern standard time thank you all for watching and i'll see you soon bye bye go and watch the lineup of videos guys bye bye